Ladies and gentlemen, the Greater Metro Junior Hockey League proudly presents to you the Bradford Rattlers and the West Nipissing Lynx. It's been a while since the Lynx have come to town, but they are here right before the holidays. Gage Nobziger up against the captain, Arvin Ball, but the center ice faceoff here from the BWG here in Bradford, starting goaltenders for tonight's contest. Number 35 for the Bradford Rattlers, it's Maxim Ivanov, as you see Anderson testing the netminder, number one from Russia, Vatislav Morozyuk, who can make the first stop in goal for his team in block, as that puck sits right on top of the cage above Morozyuk, and he has to hold on early, just 20 seconds into this contest. Ryan Dean with the ceremonial face-off, accompanied by Santa. Santa Claus in town, oh it's true. Navziger and Baum the lineup on the faceoff. Blake Keller not in the lineup here tonight. He is down with an illness. And so Isaac Carlson will take his spot on this top line. That puck can get wheeled over for Tyler Burnett who starts on this lineup in between Burnett and Navziger. He's all over to the corner, and Carlson works it back into the front. Malma shot there, kick stop made by Morozia. To the blue line, it will come to Pavel Rozkov. He'll get a quick trigger pull that will land right to the corner for Carlson. Carlson back across for Anderson to the blue line. Kuchma, but it hops over his stick, and he's got to hurry after. Burnett watching over him. He'll just dish it across for Pavel Rozkov. Rozkov slides it ahead to Kuchma, and an outlet touch up there by Melker Melander. Puck will then go up and out of play into the protective mesh above the high glass. And so face-off still to come just into the neutral zone outside of Lynx territory. Malcolm Rolander, number 25 in white, one of the lone Swedes on the team now. His countryman Frank Eckholm traded. I believe it was to the Northumberland Stars Frank Eckholm went. Down to the lone Swede in Melander. Stretch pass away from Fisher, but it'll come right to Gleb Slesnyov. Slesnyov turns on a dime there, and he gets dime into the corner there. Fisher can pin up against the boards, and Savignac comes in to help. Taken away by Boone Zanix. He has it over to the high boards. He can work it across for Lutflin, who can stymie his way in. Head fake, and then it goes into the corner where Slesnyov will work after it. He has Savignac all over him, but it'll come free to Burnett, who they cannot let pass, but not out of the zone. Kept alive by Frank Melander. Try to work it back to or Melker Melander. Through the corner, a pair of 18s do battle. Bunzenich swept it across for Slesnyov. The blue lane now for the play of Lutflin. He'll get it further down low, away from Zachary Major. He crunches there with Bunzenich into the corner there. Melander tried to punch it through, but he has it. Bunzenich whipping it across for Shamil Lutflin. Crossing pass, high slot. Slesnyov, a shot there stopped by Morozuk, and he's able to make the play for Major. Major lifted for Henrippen. A long pass, it comes for Carson Laurent. Trying to get by Lutfelin, and he gets planted for its efforts there by the Russian. Slap back in by Burnett, and the Lynx will get a line change on. Bradford Rattlers fresh off sweeping their trip to Niagara for the GMHL College Showcase. Wins over Northumberland. As you see, Artin Borsov leaving his way back into the zone, away from Major. Centered it in front for Nogomanov. Couldn't quite reach up to that pass. Gets worked over for Liam Thor, 72 in black, alternate captain for his team. Picked off by Nugamanov at the high slot. Borisov, a snapshot, and it's blocked away by Moroza. Starting pass right in front, looking for Stemper's play. Couldn't get a shot away. His stick was tied up. Orkov got a shot through the lane. It's blocked by Filion, the captain of the Lynx. Got the lock by Aaron Stemper. The puck handle all alone in front, getting it to Borisov. But a great defensive stick was made by Barber to intercept that one. Rattler still with pressure. They have been to the corner. It's Nugamanov shrieking away from the check. Saving it now for Aaron Stemper. To the blue line will come for Orkov. Shielding a pass for Anderson. And he got it back to Bunzenich in the corner there. Where he's tied up there by Salt. Borisov able to escape away with it. Hard centering pass. Stemper in front. Stopped by Morizuk. And the rebound cleared away by Salt. But this one will go down for an icing call on West Nipissing. But Vladislav Morizuk. Keeping a scoreless tie at the moment with 16.46 to go here in the first period. Stefan Filion, multi-year player of the West Nipissing Lynx. You see him win a clean faceoff for his team on the defensive end, and it's an easy clear for the Lynx. Kuchma 
Quick snap pass, intercepted by Budney, but it'll come over for Barber, shielding it the other way, and that one might go for an icing, and it looks like it will. 16-22, we have back-to-back -back icings here in this first period. Budney and Philly on again on the faceoff. It's one there by the Rattlers. A quick shot away from Masikov. Just screeched over up top. Kalen McLaughlin. And a pass through center. It's the captain Philly on away from a Jerchik. And he'll calmly just loft it into the corner. Rattled across to Rhodeskov. He'll relay it for Kuchma. Looking for an elevator pass. But he'll elect to drop it further. One touch by him. Jerchik. Now for Budney. Coming into the zone. It's Masikov. A drop pass. Kuchma shot into the glove of Morozuk. And no further play, he makes pretty work with the windmill glove grab. Great combination of passing to get entry into the zone. That is tic-tac-toe crisp passing on by Team Green here tonight. Again, Blake Keller not in the lineup here tonight for the Bradford Rattlers. Taking a spot on the first line center is Isaac Carlson. He'll go one-on-one -on -one against Burnett. Face-off win by the wingerman, Brunette, but he's able to win the draw. Major, pass over to Savignac, a lead pass for Burnett. Got across to Nabziger, working it further to Burnett. He's hounded there by Baxter. Pins him up into the corner. Anderson trying to pry that puck free, can't do so. Burnett with his back towards the net. To protect that puck from the boards, and a quick shug array was made by Ivanov. Fluttering to the neutral zone, and dropped right into the play of number 17 in black. That is Matthias Jolet. Speaking of 17, we're looking at number 17, Tyler Baxter in white for the Bradford Rattlers. Made a dish for Shamil Litfoli. 55 in white through center. Made a pass to Carlson. Carlson weaving it way back in front for Anderson. Could it get it? The captain, Orgred Ball, just overskated the puck. And that'll allow Matthew Savignac, the captain of his respect. All right, bigger part. And Stefan Filion, captain of the Lynx here. Alternate captain is Savignac. Rattlers back in. Anderson gets stripped up. Carlson a shot and what a stop made by Morozuk. Came across laterally and got him with the right pad to keep it a scoreless tie. Through center, it's picked up once again by Anderson. He's shadowed there by Hendrick and he made the great defensive play and take the body, then the puck, and got it out of the zone for his team in black. A soft chip in there, not enough on it by Bunzenics. He's working away defensively. A pair of 18s going to the half boards. Fisher and Bunzenics. Bunzenik still with the puck. High slot chance there, and it ramps off the stick of Nathan Fisher, and it's up and out of play as we got Santa Claus in attendance here tonight. Sorry, I got my eyes on Santa right now. I'm not even looking at the game. It'll come to Gleb Slesnyov. Slesnyov will be pinned up against the boards there by Fisher. Lenzenings will leave it, go to the blue line for Orokov. His snapshot is fluttered and a land up behind of Moroza. Lenzenings looking for an option. He'll head to the blue line and weave his way around from Milan, but he got the puck away from him, but not from a dangerous area, as getting into it first was Orokov. He'll leave it for Bunzenix, a nice move, stymied across, looking for Melander, found him. But they're going to blow the whistle as the net has been dislodged, as you see Santa at the bottom center of your screen. There. Festive as always. Watch him walk away. The blue line will come to Rhodeskov, will backhand it off the high glass and staying in the zone. Stemper leaving it for Borisov, it'll come to Rhodeskov, will tap it across for Kuchma. Deflection in front there by Stemper and Morozuk answering with the breadbasket save. He's been sharp locating those puck through the screenshots from the blue line. And oh my god, Santa's right behind us. Christmas to all of those watching at home from Santa Claus here at the Rattlers game. Ho, ho, ho! Heard it from the man himself. Santa Claus in the building, believe it or not. I got kids looking in front of me. They can't believe it. Santa's here, right? 
See, they're fired up as you see the loose puck come right in front of the high slot. And it'll get away from Saviniak in a two-on-one. It's still with Barber. Four shot stopped by Ivanov with a mask. Like I said, you heard it from the man himself. Santa Claus in attendance here tonight in the BWG here. And we got a penalty upcoming to the Bradford Rattlers. Aaron Stemper will help head to the penalty box. For two minutes, 13-13 to go here in the first period. The Lynx will get their first power play opportunity of the contest. They are 15.8% all year long. Not the ideal score for your power play. And you look at the Rattlers, PK, they're sitting at 84% as they try to get a short-handed one. Liffel and got it tapped across from Anderson. Net comes loose, but the play will head back the other way. And it'll get started out by the captain, Stefan Philly on a pass for Major. He can weave his way into the zone. It's going to be an interference call against Stemper. Savinia into the corner, try to punch it further for a Navziger. Tyler Baxter just pinning up that puck against the corner boards. Malm trying to shield it away from Filion, and he'll do so. The blue line will come to Major. It's gloved down by Luke Flynn, but he won't corral it. Major, the defenseman working offensively, will just drop it to the corner. It's Navzig. Behind the netminder of Maxim Ivanov. It's Barber again. A cross-seam pass looking for Saviniak. A good read by Malm, but it's possession to the links again. Navzig to the corner. It's Saviniak, 34 in black. Intercepted, but brought to the line, but not out. Filion will just whack it back towards the netminder, Ivanov. who will make an easy glove grab on that one. 12.09 to go here in the first period. 56 seconds of power play time to work with for the Lynx. They've had a few shots on Ivanov, but he's been perfect thus far. And same thing with Vladislav Moroisuk at the other end, netminder for the Lynx. 19-year-old Russian, a terrific start so far in this contest for his team in black. Navziger all over the front, backhander, they score! It's a power play goal by Riley Burnett, and it's 1-0 West Nipissing. Nipissing has a history of scoring first and scoring early against the Bradford Rattlers, especially here from the BWG. And make no exception, the Lynx come in and continue the story and continue the trend. They lead 1-0 with 12 minutes to go exactly here in the first period. And so let's see how Team Green will react to being down early once again. And you remember three Sundays ago, Bradford Rattlers were leading 4-1 after two periods in a comeback by the West Nipissing Lynx. Rattlers would end up winning that contest, but a terrific comeback by the Lynx. Very pass in front there in the start. Haven't really been the Rattlers' strongest suit. We've mentioned this before in seasons prior. Lufflin stepped into his man. Tyler Baxter will take the puck from Shamil. Made the bank and Lufflin is back in. A pair of defensemen is trying to connect offensively there as he weaved his way through the middle, was picked off, and now it's Matthew Savinia. Playing through a dangerous area, and Lifflin had to hurry that one. He chipped it right to the glove of Bundy, played it to himself, and he's back in. A cross seam pass found Anderson. Bang it off the bank pass from the boards to the blue line, finding Coach Bell walking down, and he just scorched it wide. Captain Orvin Mom getting it down deep. Anderson couldn't regather, and so it's Fisher from the boards. Not out, it's kept alive by Kuchma. Watch there by Henry Rippen. It's Kuchma leading its way back in front. Shot was blocked. Barber's pinned up by Majerchik. Savinia got his pocket picked by Anderson. Trying to find Malm. He did so here. Shot was blocked in front by Fisher. Like Anderson looking from behind the back pass. He found Arvid Malm. Cross scene pass. It's Isaac Carlson. Carlson back further for Anderson. Blocked by Savinia. Anderson then tied up by Savinia. Strong on the puck is Blake Anderson. He's looking at the option now. Won't drop it for Kuchma. He'll head to the slot. Back down low for Malma. Centering feed looking for Kuchma. Good defensive stick made by Fisher. Kuchma gets hauled down, but it's Isaac Carlson. 
drop pass. Anderson for Richard Kuchma. Great passing going on by the Rattlers, but not enough shots on goal to Morozuk. And so nothing happening there. And back behind the play, looks like the netminder Morozuk is shaken up a bit. He has not gotten to his feet yet, but now he does. Quickly popped up there. Perhaps he's just getting a quick warm-up in. Isaac Carlson, Baum, Anderson, toe drag around Hendrippen. Pocket pick there, and it's Carlson again. Crossing pass, great one to Kuchba. Back in front, looking for a mom on the cross crease pass. Couldn't quite connect. Maybe one too many passing going on for the Bradford Rattlers. You do see Carlson can't get a trigger pull in time. He's blocked all of the way from Carson Laurent. Anderson from behind the goal. Looking to set up shop. He found Rodskov. High slot chance, walks the line, won't shoot. Back on low, it's Kuchma. Sharp angle pass there in front, whipping it across there was Maul, but just trying to wheel that towards the cage. Couldn't quite do so, and so it's fired back down by the Lynx. Icing called on West Nipissing. I see the netminder Moroy's like down on his knees right now. When there's a stoppage in play, he is rarely on his feet. Savignac and Bunzenix on the face-off. 9.03 to go in the first. A trigger pull off the crossbar by Molander. A curl and drag shot right off the face-off. Found iron. And so it remains a 1-0 lead for the Lynx. The Rattlers coming up all that close. And tying this one up at 1. Sleznyov is back in. As a man, Molander worked at him again. And he had two great chances to score in one shift. But again, remaining a 1-0 lead for the Lynx here in Bradford. Roman Orkov, a pass over for Bunzenich. His pass was then intercepted by McLaughlin, got into the passing lane. Back on Lois Lesnyov. From his backhand, looking in for Vargas. Cross pass it to Orkov. His shot fluttered away by Filion, but it gets to Bunzenich's play. Just trying to shriek away from Barber, but he's strong on the boards there, but he lost his stick. Melander, just trying to pitch fork that one out of the scrum. Vargas in there to do so as well. Took a check from his efforts by four. A curl drag by Sleznyov, and he just whipped it off the boards. And it'll come up and out of play. Gleb Sleznyov showing great patience there. Nearly outweighting the netminder of Morozuk. But his shot ended up finding the glass. They say it ramped off a player from the Lynx. So face off will stay inside the Rattler zone with 7.59 to go here in period number one. one nothing for West Nipissing. A power play goal by Riley Burnett. own draw for the Rattlers, unable to win it back. And so McLaughlin can make a play looking to try to get it to Filion and he'll do so when it whipped right over him. Stemper into the zone, a cross pass blocked by Saul. Martin Borisov and a scramble there against Navziger. To the blue line, it's Baxter going D to D to Lutful and his shot, a calm glove grab made by Moroisa. And he will make the easy save with 7.39 to go in this first period. Moroisov comes into tonight's contest with a record of 3 and 5. Goals against average of 4.52. Not ideal, but save percentage of 0.881. Definitely not playing up to those stats right now. He's definitely playing far, far better. Bradford Rattlers might be getting penalized here. Or I beg your pardon, it's going to be the Lynx. Gage Navzig. Heading to the box, referee pointing to his mouth, so I believe it's another equipment violation here. Ref Nabziger playing without a mouth guard. That has been called, and so a fortunate power play for the Bradford Rattlers coming up. Their first of the contest all season long, just shy of 30% on the power play. Can you believe that? Leaks come in with a PK percentage of 83. But they might have a chance here, shorthanded. Ivanov coming out of its cage aggressively to make that play, but possession back to the links. Filion shot caught down by Ivanov. And so we have a shorthanded defensive zone faceoff. Never a good thing when your team is on the power play and then you gotta take a defensive zone faceoff. Takes about 20 seconds to regather the puck and make way into the offensive zone. Kuchma will take his time and get it to Anderson. Let's see how quickly they can get set up here. Puntaniks to the corner. Kuchma and Malm will man the blue line. 
Kutchman, the only defenseman on the ice right now. He has the puck. His shot blocked by his own man, Bunzenix. And that one will go away from Carlson and out of the zone. Patience so far was Kutchma. Pass for Anderson. His shot coming out of the cage with Moroisa to shut down that angle and make the save. Back on low will come for Bunsenix from the backhand, and that one missed wide. Harvard Malm to the blue line. Kutchma, Carlson, Kutchma. Cross pass, it's Malm back for Kutchma. Returning at four, the captain Malm, a whipping pass across, went away from Carlson, and that's an easy clear for Philly. Roskov telling Ivanov to hold on to that puck, and so he will regather and go behind Maxim Ivanov now. 39 to go on the power play, 6.15 to go in the first period. Line change on the fly now for the Rattlers, second power play, power play line unit coming out now. Merit Nogomanov will go around from Salt and he'll find Melander. Pass landed into a skate, so a little too tough to handle. The blue line, Rotskov got it back for Nogomanov, but he's watched there by Salt, who made a nice play. And an easy clear for Carson Laurent. Definitely seems like the Rattlers have a lot more patience on this power play. So do the rest of the same links. They did not bite at all on that power play. Even when the Rattlers tried to throw that puck around, the links stayed square. They played that sturdy four-man uh, diamond setup in their own zone. Very effective. And the Rattlers go 0 for 1 on the power play here tonight. This is the Rattlers' first game back home after coming home from Niagara, where they swept all of their games in the college showcase. Pass picked off at the blue line. That's Borisov. Couldn't weave his way further into the zone, and so Laurent made the backhand pass for Barber. Stemper took a hit to make a play. Lopeful and good pinch in, and so Borisov will be first after it in the corner. Arden Borisov returns it back. Tyler Baxter, the defenseman, getting into the corner offensively. Baxter will carry it to the blue line zone where it's kept alive by Borisov. He'll just sauce that one right towards the goal, looking for a redirect by Majerchek. Never got one. That one shot off the glass and down the length of the ice. Icing is going to be called on the links here with 4.29 to go here in the first. Jacob Bundy, that's a good face-off win by Savignac of the Lynx. Fisher racing up to that one. It's taken away enough. Fisher can work it across for Laurent. Laurent will go into the corner against Baxter. It's Fisher. Behind the back pass went away from him, and so a basic off will whip it across, but it's kept alive into the zone by McLaughlin. And so Tyler Baxter has to hurry that one out of the zone. He'll connect with Borsaw, played the bank to Bundy, and he's in. Good defensive stick was made by Barber. And we're looking at Shamil Lutflin with three minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first period from behind Maxim Ivanov made a pass for Baxter. Breakout starting. It's Lifflin from Baxter. He'll hit center and the Lynx end. Dropped it to the other wing. It's Masikov. 22 in white. Dropped it for Lifflin and he'll drop it for Carlson. Watched by Fillion. Dodge to check there by McLaughlin. Isaac Carlson looking him go here. Buzzing around the center zone. Got it in front. Looking for Bundy. His pocket was picked there and out come the Lynx. It's Liam Thor, 72 in black. Trying to get by Orkov. Couldn't do so. Good defense with step up there made by Orkov. Major redirected by Thor. And so it went right to possession of Lutfel and he'll snap it across, but Major's there to keep the puck alive. Zachary Major, crossing pass Lutko, dropped right in front, but it's kept alive by the captain, Arvid Mall. Blake Anderson. Off the bank, it's touched up by Mall, and a pass now to Carlson. Carlson back for Mall, back to Carlson, and he just ran out of real estate. Perhaps Arvid Mall should have just got the shot when he could. Off that initial pass on the 2-1-1, it remains 1-0 for the Lynx. Major, his whipping shot was stymied there by Mom, never got on goal. Anderson will fire that one down the length of the ice, but icing will be waved off. Salt with 2.30 to go here in the period. 
Pitched it across to Filion. That's a nice move around to Orkov. Stefan Filion to the backhand. Draws a penalty. Comes right to Ivanov. And the Lynx will get their second opportunity on the power play here tonight. They've already cashed in once for the game's first score. First and only score, we should say. Arvin Malm. Definitely not a fan. Same with Blake Anderson. Hooking the call on Arthur and Malm and my former broadcast partner Joe Talk always used to tell me, Nick, hooking illegal on and off the ice. Shout out Joe Todd. Nabziger and Stemper on the faceoff. Stemper is waved out. Sleznyov will take it. Two minutes of power play time. Two minutes and 15 seconds to go in this first period. Shot from Blue Line Barber. Redirection by Navziger. Stopped by Ivanov, and it's cleared away by Aaron Stemper. Vaslav Morozo. Out of his cage, made the play for Jolay. Elevator that pass for Barber. A touch up there by Navziger, and the Lynx will now give chase. Brodskov. Got that one out of the zone. A pinch in was made by Jolay, but it just stymied me away from him. Good second effort made by Sleznyov as well. Opposite corner will come right to Roskov. He'll one hand that one out of the zone with some help from Sleznyov. Barber can't get by Sleznyov. And sees after that puck touched it with a high stick, and that's going to get called. Rattler's unable to make a line change. And unfortunately for them, it's going to be a defensive zone faceoff now for them. 120 or 112 to go, I beg your pardon. On the power play for the Lynx. One minute, 30 seconds to go in the first period. A power play goal opened this scoring tonight. Wiley Burnett getting one on the power play at the halfway point in the first period. Let's see if the Lynx can go two for two on the man advantage. Major curl and drag, and it's into the bread basket of Maxim Ivanov and no further play. Anderson, Carlson, Baxter, and Lutfli are the four new players out there on the ice for head coach David Mooney and the Bradford Rattlers. The captain, Stefan Filion, back out onto the ice for his respective team. Thor off the tie up there, and he has possession. Thor got it right to the captain, Filion, 21 in black. Backhanded to the blue line, that's Laurent, who whipped it back for Filion, back to Laurent. Laurent back to Filion. Filion, his shot stopped by Evanov. Big rebound, it's loose for the taking, and it's cleared away by Anderson. Travis Defoe announces the final minute of play in the first period. A few more opportunities coming up for the Lynx here. They can set up shop in a hurry. It's Major going coast to coast. His fluttering shot blocked there by Lutflin. Major protecting that puck, very smart play by him. Knows he has numbers to work with here, so he'll elect to spin up against the boards and just try to drive it towards the net. Good step up there by Baxter. Lifflin fanning on the initial attempt, right to the slot. Major a shot, big rebound, stopped by Ivanov, and then cleared by Anderson again. Power play has expired. Alvred Malm back out onto the ice for the Rattlers. 18 seconds to go in the first period. Major from center will just aerial it into the corner. Richard Kuchma picks it up with 10 to go. Cross pass will go into the Rattler bench. Looks out like Blake Anderson. Puck came right after him. I've never seen him move that quick. Having a word with Oliver Balazs on the bench right now. Of course, Balazs not in goal tonight. It's Maxim Ivanov, the Russian 19-year-old here tonight. Leb Sleznyov with two seconds and one, and this will conclude the first frame of regulation time. You've heard from me, you've even heard from Santa Claus here tonight in that first period. Quite a good period, I would say so. Score clockwise, not so good. Rattlers look to be better in the second period. So for the Bradford Rattlers, down 1 0 to the Lynx here after 20 minutes. We'll be back for the second period of play after this intermission.
Ladies and gentlemen, the second period of action set to get underway here from the BWG in Bradford. West of the single links will start this second period with a one goal lead. And that hasn't really been much of a surprise for the links as of late as early on, especially here at home in Bradford. Links seem to have the Rattlers number for the first period, but we all know second period, halfway into the second period, that's when the Rattlers really start to turn it on, allegedly, so that's what we hope for here tonight. Offense with zone faceoff, Arvid Hall against Gage and Abziger on the faceoff, and Ozone one for Bradford. Abziger will get waved out. The lone goal scorer here tonight, Riley Burnett. On the ice, thought he was going to let the face off. It looks like it's going to be Tyler Burnett. The blue line, Isaiah Carlson, and it's going to come outside the zone. Our referee's looking at a face, or penalty, I should say. Looks like Gage Navziger for the second time here tonight will head to the box for his mouth guard. Equipment violation again. So for the second time in tonight's contest, the Bradford Rattlers going to test out their power play once again. Their PK sits just under 30% all year long. Of course, that power play percentage went up quite a great deal during the Niagara Showcase. Look up to the blue line, Kuchma, Harvard, Mom lost the handle. Mom getting it back, back and low for Anderson. It's shielded away by Barber to the blue line, cut wide by Carlson. Kuchma, Carlson back in front. Mom trying to get it there. The netbinders down, they score! Anders Buntenitz, a power play goal. The Rattlers have tied it. Vladislav Morozuk was down and out. Couldn't locate that puck in time and crashing the net was Bunzenix and he cashes in a power play goal and the Bradford Rattlers have tied it up. Bunzenix gets his 11th goal on the year. 30th point in 26 games for Bunzenix. And the Rattlers have possession right off the face off. It's Art Morozov. See what I mean about the second periods for the Bradford Rattlers, normally the strongest period. And they've got the game answering goal as they're back for more. Stutter step made by Borisov around Fisher. Borisov pounded there by Liam Thor, had his pocket picked by Filion, and so he sauces it back for McLaughlin. Coming back in this is shrieking major his shot in and out of the glove of Ivanov, and so Baxter whip it across into the corner play of Nogomanov. Backs are off the boards, and it's not touched up by Borisov, and so icing called on the Rattlers here with 18.43 to go here in the second period. Again, starting goaltenders for tonight's contest. Maxim Ivanov getting the start for Team Green. Vladislav Morozia. And then for the West Nipissing Links native of Russia. It's a Russian netminder duel here tonight between Ivanov and Morozia. That one escaped away from Barber and icing is waved off and Marosa can't believe it. Icing waved off in that dump attempt. Shamil Lutflin, round of Savignac, plays off the boards for Melander who had some glorious chances in that first period. He hit the crossbar and one great opportunity early in the second, or the first I should say, as Melander just worked it back towards a dangerous area. That's what Melander is always good at. He's never really forcing a play. He's just always putting a puck in a dangerous area. Definitely going to be missing Frank Eckholm on this line. A pair of Swedes going with it. Klebs Lesnyov hard after the puck, but it's Drew Lady to just dump it on goal to Ivanov and they'll stick it aside to Orkov. Leaving it for Slesnyov. Made a pass for the goal scorer, Bunzenix, and he slid it across for Vargas. Quick drop and Melander. Cross scene pass. That was the time where Melander did force the pass, but it does work, however. They still have possession. Melander back after it. Elker Melander into the corner. Looking over the options, he'll head to the high slot. Cut down low, and his shot was blocked in front by Savinia. 
And Rippon off the boards and out of the zone. I think will be waved off, however. Ivanov will punch it aside for Vargas. Long stretch pass just out of the reach of Bundy. And so Icing called on the Rattlers here with 17.05 to go in the second. We're just talking about how the Rattlers lately haven't really been forcing too many plays that were not there, but the last stretch of plays that the Rattlers being guilty of just trying to force a play that is not there for the taking, and Icing has resulted. Welcome Orlando for Mesakov. Fisher. Mayskov touched it up, but no, they're going to say he did it. And so icing is called once again on the Rattlers. Two straight icings by the Rattlers. That didn't really seem to be icings from up here, but of course the Lions are the officials. In the middle, which the from high above center. Eh, not that high above center. Nassiger Brennett off the faceoff, skips aside into the corner. Majerchuk couldn't get it out, neither can Vargas. Vargas on the second effort does get it out. Icing is signaled by the back official, but waved off by the near. Major touched up, Mesica. Leaving it for Bunny kept alive. Burnett got it on out of the zone. Icing is waved off, however. Pavel Rodskov with 16-15 to go in the second. Number seven and white makes Mariel pass through center. Shielded down and corralled by Masikov. Just trying to get by Thor. Might have a step on him. A shrieking. Masikov got it right to a dangerous area. Just fluttered it up wide. Richard Kuchma. Might have a lane here. Kuchma crossing pass. Broken up. Bony battling for it. Jolay took a bump to make a play here as he got it across to Savignac. Fading on the first attempt. But then he'll regather it and give it across for Zachary Major. Third center picked off by Isaac Carlson. Orlando heads on the bench for a change. Anderson comes on. Carlson to the goal in front and he crashes into Morozuk. Both players seem to be okay. 15.30 to go here in the second period. It's possession now to West Nipissing. Drolet leading his way around Anderson and then around Kuchma. Pavel Rodskov from the backhand. He's trying to flutter that one out of the zone. Blake Anderson will do so. Barber got it back for Drolet. He'll head off on a change. McLaughlin. Racing it to the puck against Rodeskov. Rodeskov fighting on the first attempt. Regather it and flung it away for Carlson's way. Watch there by Thor and a breakout now for the captain Arvin Mom just trying to force it to Anderson. They're going to touch it up, but no, no offside call. Anderson turns on a dime, but he lost the puck to the Lynx captain, Filion. He hits center and dumps it in on goal. If Ivanov can stick it away to Kuchma. Soft pass is about knee high, nearly flagged down by. Anderson. Philly on third's backhand. Touched there by Mom, and so Thor can battle away, but it's picked off by the Rattlers again. They might have a three on two. Crossing pass to Anderson from Malm. He'll go deep into the corner and just sauce it across for the captain, Malm. The blue on Thor. Good job to tie him up, and so Philly on will start the rush with Hen Rippen. Philly on getting wide, has a haul of the lane here. Philly on walks in, stopped by Ivanov. It's loose behind him. Baxter. Can't get it. He lost it to the blue line. Barber going D to D to Major. His screaming shot there kicked off and blocked by Anderson. And it goes up and out of play. Filion was coming in. It seemed that the Lynx might have numbers rushing the other way. And you see Lufflin and Baxter talking about it right now. Both those players just went away from Filion driving towards the net. They went to all, the, both those players went to the passing lane. That left Filion all sorts of daylight. You could drive a back shark through the gap they left in for Filion. Luckily for Maxim Ivanov, bailing out his voice here tonight. It's that one from the blue line came in a hurry off the stick of Major. Good read down low by Ivanov. Borsov and Trelay watching him. Borsov behind the goal will try to ring it back around. It's picked off by Savignac. So he'll get it across where it's touched up by Stemper. Not enough for icing, and so Orkov can relay it back for Stemper away from him. And icing is waved off again. We're seeing it's going to be a theme here in the second period. Icing is just waved off. Savinia hustling down into the zone. He's the lone links in. He's joined there by Henrippen, who gets planted down by Borisov. We will continue. Larong to the blue line. It's Major. His curl and drag shot was blocked by the stick of Nugamanov. Savanov 
Savignac rather, further back in deep for Jolay to the blue line. I'll come to Jolay again, but he just can't keep the zone alive. Burnett got it from Jolay and now Laurent. Just heading that puck into the Raptors and a flip pass looking for Melander. Barber returned it for Navzig. Picked off by Aaron Stemper. He'll go cross to Roman Orkov. Touched up there neatly there by Melander. And so giving chase to Sleznyov over the puck handler Fisher. Navziger, a pair of 25s go into the corner. Kept alive by Burnett. That's Tyler Burnett. A couple players on the ice with the Burnett last name. But you see a big check thrown on Tyler. And he seems to be shaken up. That's going to be an elbowing call against I believe that is Richard Kuchma, the guilty party for the Raptors, so it looks like it will be. I apologize, I had my eye away from the play, didn't quite exactly see what happened, and we have seen no replay of the collision between Tyler Burnett and Richard Kuchma. Third time on the power play. For the West Ipsing Lynx, they are one for two here tonight. 12 minutes and 35 seconds of time to work with here in this second period. Two minutes of power play time. Again, it's the third one of the game for the Lynx as Ivanov has an important malfunction. And that's something that seems to be okay. For the drop of the puck to start this power play, William Thor against Mon. Puck to the line, but not out. Kept alive by Laron, but Shamil Lifflin overskated it. Savinia. Check that, it's Liam Thor, a curl and drag, and it's swept out of the zone there by Mon. Feature hounded by Anderson, he got it to LaRonda, 11 in black. Made him of Shrugan Falls, Ontario, with the 18-year-old standing at six feet tall. Tyler Baxter from his own end, and he'll get it nearly to possession of Blake Anderson. That's all flutter back from LaRon, back to Filion, and Filion missed his man on that pass. Anderson doing strong work shorthanded. Just trying to put a little bit more time off, but now it looks like the Lynx will have a clean break and entry. Savignac gets stood into there by Baxter. Puck does come out of the zone and racing after it is Blake Anderson, and he's going to be the lone rattler getting it into the zone. Major will watch his every move, seven and black. Lynx got to be hard on the puck carrier there. They're being a little too lackadaisical in the defensive end, especially with the man advantage. 50 seconds remaining in this main advantage. Thor got by Rodzkov. Good sweep away by Rodzkov, getting it to Orkov to the line, and it does come out away from Laurent. And that'll force Moroizuk out of his cage to make a play. He'll play it off the boards right to the captain. It's Filion. Goes across the green, and it's touched up there by Thor. Thor, I should say. 30 seconds to go on the power play. Not much happening for the Lynx here. Ivanov will send that one out of play. It looks like it's going to be penalized. Maxim Ivanov taking a delay of game penalty. So the Bradford Rattlers will be down five on three for 21 seconds. And I'm not sure if the Rattlers realize the point yet. Getting a chat is Tyler Baxter with the official great part of your screen that just goes out of reach now. Rattlers to serve the minor penalty. Baxter is still having work with the official. Rattlers have Belander, Carlson, and Lutflin on the ice. Besides Tyler Baxter, he'll now head his way to the bench right now, confirming with head coach David Mooney that it's going to be a 5-1-3, and head coach Mo Bantha must be loving what he's seeing right now. David Majerchik heading to the box. He will serve the minor by Ivanov for delay a game. All that's happening with 10 minutes and 56 seconds to go in the second. Play of game, and so five on three for the Lynx for 20 seconds. Woodland making the smart play, but he can't clear the zone. Barber will settle it down. He might test it out. Minor Ivanov save. Big rebound, and it's Fisher. Maybe get forward delay. One penalty set to expire. It's Fisher. Calmly to Barber. Like Barber. Cross. Drillet shoots. Scores.
Matthias Jolle, another power play goal for the West Nipissing Lynx. They have regained their one goal lead and lead by two to one. Depth scoring seems to be the key for the Lynx here tonight. Both of the goal scorers here tonight, Burnett and Jolle, not in the top six in point scoring for their respective team. Depth scoring up plenty here for West Dipsing. Normally it's the same guys like Alexander DeBook, Stefan Filion, Matthias Weichsche. Mind you, two of those three players aren't even in the lineup here tonight for the Lynx. Missing a lot of star players here are West Dipsing, but they're putting up quite a decent fight. Carson Lockhart, their netminder, isn't even dressed here tonight. Derek Rivier serves as the backup here tonight for Vaslav Moroisuk for the Lynx. Of course, Oliver Blas backing up next to Kaifanov here, who will get the start tonight. The final home game before Christmas. And in the first period, we already heard from Santa Claus. Still on the power play are the Lynx with a minute 20 to go. That one just comes out of the zone. Look out, Sleznyov is all over him. Major lost the handle and come back for Sleznyov. Has Stemper heading towards the goal. A nice move by Gleb Sleznyov to the goal. Stop by Moroizek. And he'll come into the corner where Saviniak plays it aside. Gleb Sleznyov nearly catching the Lynx, napping short-handed. Just trying to fight back and get that tying goal. You see a big step up made by Kuchma and Major. Those two go down. Another easy clear for the Rattlers, and so it's Liam Thor just trying to settle that rolling puck in a calmly, or I shouldn't say calm, rather in a hurry, got it to Major. Cross pass, and it's Laurent. Gets stood up there by Richard Kuchma. Philly on it. Got in front, Savignac in front, rebound, it's loose in front. Kuchma broke his stick on the clearing attempt. Philly on shoots, big rebound, Thor is there. Stopped by Ivanov. Regains his balance, it'll come to the blue line again. Shot there, stopped by Ivanov, big rebound. Rodzkov is there to get it out. Stemper is able to get it off the boards. And down the length of the ice, Moroisa quickly hurries it back. Link's trying to come in with numbers. A curl and drag shot, stopped by Ivanov with the blocker. Back to five on five, Rorikov is back out. Baxter in a tie up there. Malm trying to clear that puck and he will do so. Liam Thoroth, David Bajercek all over him. Thor now turning away from Anderson, dropping it to Fisher. Getting away from Isaac Carlson, and here comes Fisher with Filion. Fisher easily into his way into the zone, gets planted there by Lutflin, but now a chance for the Rattlers. It's Anderson. Takes a look behind him. He locates Carlson. We'll use him here. A sharp angle bid stop by Moroisa. Got the wrist shot coming off the stick of Blake Anderson. Eight minutes and 17 seconds to go here in the second period. Two power play goals are the only goals the Lynx have scored here tonight. Rattlers only have one to their name and it remains a 2-1 lead as the score clock just went away. Here from BWG. Ah, oh, it's back. Yes, 8-17 to go here in the second. One goal lead for the Lynx. That one on goal. Big rebound and it comes right in front of the crease. You saw it for the taking right there. No one in a white uniform able to pounce on the opportunity. And so it remains a one goal lead still for West Nipissing. Isaac Carlson on the hurry pass, Fandom. Got it back for Baxter, now Lutflin. He might look to return it back to Baxter, look out. Got two Baxter. Quite dangerous on that pass by Lutflin, but no damage done just yet. Anderson looking for Carlson, he skates up to it. Isaac Carlson, number 10 in white from the corner. Getting it to Lutflin. Mom, a good play by Jolet without a stick. Shot from the blue one coming by Baxter was blocked. Burnett and Baxter racing after that puck. Jolet still without a stick. Navziger trying to locate that puck into the corner. Can't do so. Carlson tees one up and shot it wide. Big rebound and Mom put it wide again. Bradford Rattlers getting some great A scoring chances, but they're unable to hit the net. Anderson. Escapes away, it's Carlson back in front, forced to play, comes to the blue line, it's Baxter, a curl and drag shot, looking for a tip in front, was Carlson, couldn't get it. Baxter, strong stick by him to keep the zone alive, a pretty move there by the captain, Mom. Anderson, Carlson scores! A 
Isaac Carlson ties the game for the Bradford Rattlers on a beautiful passing play. Isaac Carlson making no mistake on the goal. And they have tied this game back up at 2-2. Bradford Rattlers still have yet to lead in this contest. Lynx have led both times as a player goes down for the Rattlers. Play will continue. That was Nugamanoff. Takes a look at the official. No call coming. Stemper back for Nugamanoff. Bobbling puck in front and Morozuk. Able to locate that puck in time. Rattlers nearly cashing in for their third goal. Remains a 2-2 tie here with 6.27 to go in the second period from the BWG here in Bradford. And we are so glad everyone has taken the time out of their night to tune in to some GMHL action here on this Sunday night on ice from Bradford. You're looking at the West Nipissing Lynch joining on the attack. Some pretty moves made by Laurent. Through the corner, lost an edge. It's a play for Stemper. It'll come right to him and he might have a chance here. It's a three on one for the Rattlers. Kuchma from Stemper tried to get it back for Stemper. Couldn't do so. Puck touched up with a high stick and so it'll come back into the zone. Offensive zone face up coming up for the Rattlers. A three on one and you don't get a shot on goal. Regardless of the score and how those Rattler players are going to be thinking that exact play tonight. on Philly on meet again on the faceoff and it's filling on again winning another draw. Melker Melander gave it up to McLaughlin but he couldn't settle the puck in time and so it's a pickoff for Sleznyov. Weaving his way, keep himself into a dangerous area and so Philly on the captain can shriek his way back into the zone away from Orkoff. Pocket pick by Melander, shrugged off and it got to Sleznyov. Let's jump on a line with Melander and Bunzenix. He found Bunzenix. His shot just went wide. Salt played it off the side of the net. And laid a pass over for the captain, Filion. A long pass. It will come for four. Will touch it up. Trying to get it around. Vargas couldn't do so. Vargas and Bunzenix trying to hold himself on side. But he couldn't do so. Five minutes left to go in this second period. Again, 2-2 here from the BWG in Bradford. Navzik will try to weave his way around. Bundy can do so. Picked up by Jorlet at center, and he'll get it in deep. Maxim Ivanov didn't want to risk it, so he'll just hold on to that puck and get a face-off coming up to the left of him. Alexander Dubuk and Matthias Weisschick are first and third on their team in scoring. Both players not on the lineup here tonight. A lot of times we've mentioned the West of the St. Lynch just always being a thorn in the side of the Radford Rattlers and even showing why. Rattlers still have yet to possess a lead in this contest with 450 to go here in the second. Rattlers might get a chance here. Masikov testing the netminder in and out of the glove and crashing into the goal was Baxter lost his glove in the process. Tyler Baxter never afraid to jump in offensively when he has a look to do so. Normally paired on the line with Pavel Rotskov, but tonight he is with Lithuan and they have been stout here tonight. But Jerchek, that's a nice move around Barber. Majercek from the backhand, looking at options, got it to Bundy, a shot there, kicked out by Morozik. Links back in, it's Fisher, trying to get a trigger pull, he gets knocked down there by Lifflin. Laron crashing into the side of the net, and they're going to say the net has come loose. Shout out to Winging It in Bradford, a wing establishment downtown here in Bradford. Kind enough to sponsor us here tonight and shout out uh, Ryan Dean. Saw him drop the puck prior to tonight's contest and he was joined by Santa Claus as well.
Trillet picked off that pass from Kuchma. No drop for Pavel Rodskov out of the reach of Kuchma, and so regathering it is Laurent back in for the links. Made a nice move around Malm. Laurent in front there, stopped by Ivanov, and he looks behind him. Closes up the legs, and it nearly got by the Russian netminder for the Rattlers. possessed all the leads in this contest, but every time the Rattlers come back to tie it, the Lynx continue to put their foot on the gas pedal. Some teams against the Rattlers kind of fail to do so in that department. They get up a few goals, they take it easy, and then once the Rattlers start to tie it up and turn on the Jets, they kind of take a back seat, kind of expect it. Not the Lynx. They get out to a lead, they go down, they try what they can to just get that goal back. No quit in the Lynx, and that is for sure. As it Carlson, back in, lost the handle, but it's Kuchma. Regathering it back on low for Carlson behind the back pass, intercepted by LeBron, plays him off the boards and down. This one will not go for an icing. You see Blake Anderson, top of your screen, just directing traffic, telling Isaac Carlson to go on the wide side. Get the switching spots with Anderson. Arvin Malm then heads to the center zone, and he'll use the puck here. Played it across, a good play by Carlson to stay on side. They're going to say on the opposite wing. And it's Blake Anderson who is offside on the play. Definitely not happy with himself. Blake Anderson mumbles to himself as he's making his way back to the bench for the Rattlers, who are in a 2 2 tie right now here in the second period. It's going to be Aaron Stemper for the Rattlers, Stefan Philly on the floor of the Lynx. Snapped in by Vargas. Touched waist high by Major, and so play will continue. McLaughlin, good pass for the captain of the Lynx. Filion got it across to Liam Thor, splitting the defense. Liam Thor, a shot stop by Ivanov. Thor again trying to whip it back into the slot area. It's picked off there by Stemper, 14 and white. That step has Thor all over him with Stemper took a hit to make a play. Thorsoff back in front, nearly avoiding a check by Thor the blue line now. Vargas on the fluttering puck got it into the corner. Stemper pushed it for Nugamanov. Nugamanov taking a look. He'll get it for Stemper across for Vargas. A half slap shot blockered into the corner by Moroza. To the blue line it's Orokov. Shot kicked out by the pad of Moroza. To the corner now. Salt able to clear the zone for the Lynx. They much need to clear for West Nipissing. Vargas fanning on the first pass attempt will come for Nugamanov. A quick pass for Vargas, and he can elevate her at first center, connecting with Orkov. Touch pass for Borisov. Good defensive stick made by Salt. Lynx nearly had numbers heading back the other way. McLaughlin frustrated with himself here. Orkov will regather. A play for Borisov. Slide it across. Nugamanov in front. Buns and eggs, and it was just too far behind him. Baxter a shot into the breadbasket of Vladislav Moroisuk will make the save with a minute 27 to go here in the second period. It's been a good one here tonight from the BWG here in Bradford. Bradford Rodgers leading the division, the Northern Division, West Nipissing sitting just third in that division. It's been a while since we've seen the Lynx up that high in the standings, a pleasant sight to see. Ordinary Pirates operating that second Spot in the division. Back shot from the blue line by Baxter. Answered again by the breadbasket of Moroza. Again, Moroza starting this contest for West of the St. Lynx. Maxim Ivanov starts for the Bradford Rattlers. Maxim Ivanov comes into tonight's contest, a record of 6 1 and 0. Goals against average of 1.75 and a save percentage of 0.948. Yeah, that's pretty good. Minute 03 to go here in the second. Bradford Rattlers have been feeling the scoring touch here in the second period, but likewise to West Nipissing, they have tied it. Defoe tells us how much time is remaining. Kuchman, further into the zone, will come to Carlson. Asviger goes down, but the play will continue for Anderson. 
Anderson watched there by Navziger. Just trying to pry that puck free, but Anderson going stop and go, stop and go, faking out Navziger. To the blue line, Rotskov hopped over his stick, and so the Rattlers got to retreat. Look out, Anderson getting into it with Morozak back behind the play. And coming in answer is Fisher, and he's mixing it up with Anderson, Jolet, and Carlson. Watching over the scene as Anderson will skate right back to Morozak again. Not sure what kind of penalties will be assessed here as we know they are coming. It looks like one has been assessed to the side of the Bradford Raptors. It looks like that's maybe the only one that was signal. Just loving word with the Trolley who has a goal here tonight. They are sending Tyler Burnett off to the penalty box. So it looks like the minor penalty is going to go against the West Nipah St. Links. And so power play for the Bradford Rattlers. They have five skaters to the Lynx four. Sabinia getting a chat with the official. The official kind of just said, hey, I was the one who made the call. 36 seconds to go in the second period. Another opportunity on the power play for the Bradford Rattlers. A great a opportunity to get the, their first lead of tonight's contest. Shop on the line, Kuchma, and he did not miss by much. Look out in front, Fisher in a battle with Anderson. Watch out for Blake Anderson mixing it up down in front, and he takes a penalty. I was just about to say, watch out for Blake Anderson doing something here, and he went out and did something. Bradford Rattlers, a little undisciplined at the moment. Point proven early in this contest. The Lynx do not need many opportunities on the power play. The only goals they've scored here tonight, the two they have, have all been on the power play. Rattlers had a great opportunity for themselves to start this or er, end this period on the power play to continue the third period. A little bit of man advantage time, but it looks like we'll be ending this second period and starting the third period. Four on four, interference called on Anderson. He got knocked down at the start of that power play by Laurent. And you can tell by the mix-up of him and Morozik, the netminder of the Lynx, kind of getting into it beforehand. He kind of just knew I wasn't going to sit well with Blake Anderson, and he took matters into his own hands. Unfortunately, he crossed the line a little bit too much, and that will cost the Rattlers a power play. 13 seconds to go exactly in this second period. Maybe some... One last opportunity for the Lynx to get a shot on goal, but it looks like Baxter will hold it in his own zone, but he'll make a pass for Everett Mom. Rattlers might think they might have a chance here. It's Mom just trying to weave his way back in front of Major, went wide. Carlson will touch up, but that is how we will end 20 minutes of the second period. After two minutes of play, the Lynx two. Bradford Rattlers also with two. We'll be back for the third period of play after this intermission.
Ladies and gentlemen, third period underway from the BWG here in Bradford. Both teams start the second period. Four on four, as you see a backhand drive there by Major, nearly finding the top corner behind Maxim Ivanov. Look up there, Kuchma and Laurent both going down. Again, Bradford Rattlers have yet to lead once in this contest. The Lynx have led twice. That was coming back both times to just at least tie the game, but nothing more than that. A drop for Kuchma. Look for Bunzanik's couldn't bind him. Richard Kuchma. Good stick made by Barber. Claimed across for Bunzanik's. Worked it across there. Kicked away as Major. Able to make a play across. And so it's picked off by Savignac of the Lynx. Got it towards Liam Thor. And he pushed it in further. And so Borsov race after him. Look for Good pick off there, and he'll slow it all down, work it across to Baxter. Slides it across. It's Aaron Stemper. Just trying to get by Jolet. Going to do so. A drop pass, and it's Shamil Lutflin. Lutflin lost the handle. It's picked off. Out of the box now is Jolet, and he'll get used here. Tyler Burnett, fresh out of the box, gains that puck into the Rattlers, and before he's ridden off by Gleb Sleznyov. Power play set to expire for the Rattlers in seven seconds. It's Blake Anderson coming back onto the ice. Has a across team pass, and it's Thor, who Philion left it for. Him. Thor will just shoot it intentionally wide, looking for a rebound, but it does come out of the zone. Anderson was unable to hold it. And he's able to work his way back into the link zone, getting around Philion and avoiding a check there by Burnett. Anderson to the blue line, Baxter just rolled away for a minute, and so Liam Thor racing after him. Thor's able to win the race into the corner after the puck took a solid bump there by Baxter, but Thor on the back end shot save by Ivanov, and it looks like a penalty. Upcoming to the west at the sink, Lynx hits the captain, Filion heading off for interference, kind of shoving Lutfeld back into the netminder Ivanov, and so another opportunity on the power play for the Rattlers. Lynx power, or penalty kill, sitting at 83% all year long. Puck is dropping, the power play has begun, and it's going to start off with a good clear by the Lynx. A funny bounce off the stanchion, so it'll come right to the play of Richard Kuchma. And he passed for Isaac Carlson, dropping it for Bunzenich, back for Carlson, got it in front, Mom ran it off the side of the post. Mom quickly back into the corner. It'll come for Blake Anderson. Looking for a seam, he'll get it across for Carlson. Carlson, Mom again, and a glove grab made by Morozuk. Vladislav Morozuk, yet again keeping his team in this game. One of the main reasons why the Bradford Rattlers have not led once in this contest, and it looks like Blake Anderson is making his way back to the penalty box. <laughs> Mouth guard violation, other uh, equipment infraction called here tonight. Referee signaled something, I'm not quite exactly sure what. So once again, a power play has been taken off the boards by the Bradford Rattlers. Blake Anderson for the second time. Rattlers had a power play, takes himself another minor penalty. And so we're back to four on four. Isaac Carlson back in through the corner behind the cage. Isaac Carlson. We'll go down low, back to the blue line. High slot chance, it's Isaac Carlson down low, looking for Bunzenich's Carlson again off the bank, and it's stopped by Morozik. Isaac Carlson says he'll do it himself. Went around the horn a good few times, and then finally got the shot on goal. 
Vladislav Morozov. Not much more you can say about his performance here tonight. Bunzenich's touched it for Kuchma. Kuchma now, Bunzenich, just trying to settle that rolling puck and he'll do so. Good chance there by Kuchma. As Melander, Kuchma, and he just shot it wide. Kuchma will start it up again, leaving it for Bunzenich. As Melander with him, he'll use him here. Still possession. Pair 25 is going at it. Down low, it's Kuchma. Trying to locate it. Stick is lifted by Salt. Wrap around bit. Bunzenich scores! Anders Bunzenix picks up his second goal here tonight. 12th on the year, and it's a four on four goal. The Bradford Rattlers, for the first time in tonight's contest, have themselves a lead here, and it comes within 15 minutes of this third period. Maximum Ivanov will play the bank, but it comes right for Laurent. They're going to have a power play in two seconds. The captain, Filion, steps on back to the ice, but it's going to be an icing call on the Bradford Rattlers, thus being shorthanded. Perhaps they were saying the puck was sent back down the length of the ice. While it was still four on four, perhaps that could be an argument of why that call was made. Or maybe they just forgot that a penalty was expiring. Nonetheless, D zone draw for the Rattlers, shorthanded. No damage done. It was an easy clear by the defensive unit for the Rattlers and a pick off there shorthanded. Rattlers might have numbers here at Slesnyov. Turn and firing in that one. It's stopped by Morozuk. The key to that save by Vladislav Morozuk. Just being square to the puck the entire time that puck is in the zone. From what I was told by some goalies, a good way to make sure to know that you're in a good position to expect a shot coming is when the middle of your goal stick is in the middle of the puck all the way in the defensive zone and you're looking at the puck, that is when you know you're in a good spot position. Leps Lesnyov against Abanik, a shorthanded chance at Stemper, a drop pass, Anderson, a shot stopped by Morozuk. We're back to five on five, however. Slesnyov dropped it for Kuchma. Regathers it off the bank and plays it for Blake Anderson, pinned up by Filion, and so it's gonna be an easy start out. For Thor, so I thought it was. He passed it for Savignac, went astray. Blake Anderson all alone to the backhand. That's behind Morozuk. Whistle sounds. The puck was indeed trapped underneath the legs of Morozuk, and it remains a one goal lead for the moment for the Bradford Rangers. A great opportunity to double up the lead as the captain, Filion, getting hit with a high stick. Friendly fire. And then he kind of went to Carson Laurent and said, hey, did you do that? Captain looks be okay. There's a smile on his face right now. So it doesn't look like he's in that much. Isaac Carlson. Got it in front. Loose in front for Anderson. And he shot it wide. But they're going to say... I almost would have thought they would have called it a goal going right through the crease as I saw the net come loose at the last moment, but nonetheless, none of that is going to be happening. I got Ryan Dean behind me representing Wingstop here in downtown Bradford, a fine a wake establishment here in Bradford, and Travis Defoe is doing a little ad lib. We're winging it right now, and Ryan Dean is getting a terrific reaction. Literally two feet from behind me right now. Great guy. I went to a high school with him all throughout uh, those four years. My brother knew him growing up, so we, Ryan Dean, good guy. And if you're ever in town in Bradford, please go to winging it. If you're feeling it, winging it. I think that's the saying. I don't do it quite like Travis Defoe does, but yes, if you're in Bradford, just go there. If you're hungry, just go there. Support the Rattlers a little bit. Say that Nick sent you too. 
back to the game, however. A shot there by Kuchma was kicked aside by Moroza. ADD again will come for Kuchma. Further back down low will come for Malm. A turnaround bid made by Anderson. Again, no Blake Keller here tonight for the Bradford Rattlers. He is under the weather for tonight's contest. And so Isaac Carlson gets bumped up to the first line center unit. We're looking at him now to make that quick touch play. And it's been a great fit so far. Anderson with Carlson back in front there. Just over top of the stick of Isaac Carlson. Blake Anderson again trying to whip it across to the net. Couldn't do so. Picked off by Fisher. Back in. Knife down by Anderson. Back in come the Rattlers. It's up. Carlson getting it through and foot. They score! Arvid Mom. The captain, Arvind Baum, picking up his 23rd goal of the year. 55th point of the season for the Rattlers' captain, and they have doubled down their lead. It is 4-2 for the Bradford Rattlers, here with 13.05 to go here in the third period. It looks like the Rattlers are buzzing for one more, trying to open a three-goal lead for the first time here tonight. Again, prior to the start of the third period, the Rattlers have not led a single time in this contest. They have a two-goal lead to work with now. It's Vargas. Now let's see how the Lynx can react being down two goals. A centering feed in front there was broken up by Jorlet with help from Savignac. And so a joint effort does get that puck out of the zone in possession. Savignac shot off the leg of Vargas. Went wide. Filion further into the corner. Went away from McLaughlin. Vargas almost skated it. He's quickly hounded there by McLaughlin. Took a big bump there into the corner. That's an aerial loose puck coming out of the zone for the Rattlers. Away from Jolet and Melker Merlander racing in a step on his man there, heading towards the goal. Melker Merlander kind of ailing for a call there as you see. And Stemper going down. And that one will come for McLaughlin. Stepping it back into the zone, and so it's Nuka Man off the play. Minutes to go exactly here in the third. Doug Manoff racing after that pass, but it looks like he won't be the first one to the puck. It's going to be Barber. Nearly flipped it into the Lynx bench, and so Baxter will backpedal and leave it for Lutflin. Quick up for Doug Manoff. Back pass for Baxter and retrieves it. Try to go cross seam for Lutflin. Went away from him, and so it's going to be Baxter's play again from behind Ivanov. Stemper wheeled it across, away from Nugamanov and so ba Barber will punch it back to the neutral zone, regathered by the Rattlers defense and they'll try to start up a breakout once more. Savinia stopped them at the red line, Lufthansa just saying, just get that puck into the zone, doesn't have to be pretty, just get it in deep, but the Rattlers will have to wait to get that offensive zone chance. As that puck's been touched with a high stick and it looks like they'll be coming back to the neutral zone. Richard Kuchma getting all defensemen in scoring for the Bradford Rappers here. Coming into tonight's game, 24 games played, 29 points. For the native of Hungary, as you see, Laurent tried to weave his way back in, couldn't do so. The first line back out there for the Rattlers, Anderson, Ballman, Carlson. Anderson might look to give it to Carlson here. He'll let it go to the blue line. It's Tyler Baxter on a rolling puck. He shot deflected down by Carlson. Just went wide. Carlson took a cross check from his effort. Went undetected. And so play will continue. 10.40 to go here in the third. That one off the high goal. That's going to stay in play. Sharp angle bid by Henry Rippen. Went right on goal. Stopped by Max Ivanov. Again, Maxim Ivanov coming into tonight's game with a record of 6-1-0. and Goals against average. 1.75 and a save percentage of 0.948. Unbelievable. 
It's been a Russian goaltender duel here tonight between Ivanov and Moroza. Lesniov to Melander has had a bushel basket full of chances here tonight. Pocket pick there by Jurley, but Slesnyov back after it. Tyler Burnett just trying to get that puck off the boards and out of the zone. That's exactly what 77 and Black will do, but Melander will turn it back the other way, splitting the D. Melker, Melander will just push it towards the net. Minor Morozik, who was forced to make a save, and he's lost his goal stick. Slesnyov back down low in front. A quick stutter chance made by Rhodeskov, the defenseman going down low. And trying to spark some offense going from his team again. Trying to open up a three-goal lead here as we approach the halfway mark of this third period. Richard Kuchma, in no sort of hurry, will relay it back for Slesnia. Malker Melander. Might not have a goal here tonight, but he's played like he's got five. All over the puck has Melker Melander been here tonight. Two posts hit by Melander. You're looking at Carson Laurent, middle of your screen. Just trying to weave it further into the zone, and he might try to get a drop pass here. That's exactly what he'll do. Try to punch it for Thor. Now Savinia. Back to Liam Thor. Link's just trying to get one, and that one will stop by Ivanov. A good kick save made on Laurent. That puck will come away from Filion. Out of the zone now, so it's Stefan Filion again. Tap back in by Laurent. Skating after it is Savinia. Sharp angle shot stopped by Ivanov, who is hugging up the post tightly to make that save with his left pad. Face off on coming to the right of Max Ivanov. Eight minutes and 59 seconds to go in this third period of play. It's a two goal lead. Marisa getting back to the Lynx bench. Looks like there is some loose hockey tape. It is crazy who's just disposing of that. Ozone faceoff, it's going to be Saviniak for the Lynx and Stemper for the Rattlers on the faceoff, and it's a clean tap by the Lynx. It's shot from the blue line, blocked by the own man, Saviniak. Aerial lift, didn't have enough juice on it, couldn't get to Borisov in time. Step up there by Vargas, ridden his man off the play. That's a chance for Saviniak, who is stopped by Ivanov. Major through center picked up by Savignac. Laurent gets stood into there by Vargas. Two on one for the Rattlers. Borisov went across looking for Nugamanov. A hip check back behind the play as you see Stemper taking a run at Liam Thor. Borisov trying to weave his way back into his own. Can't do so. Icing is waved off. Action starting to pick up here in the last half of this third period. Leeds need two to tie. Vargas. Reverse it on the captain, Filion. Major. To the line, but not out. Shot into the glove of the captain, Filion, and a good stutter step made by Stemper. Head fake there to not let Filion know his next move. Filion, very stark defensive player. Reminds me a lot of Sean Couturier in the way he is playing here tonight. Major, a curl and drag, but they're going to say they are offside. Seven forty-eight. time remaining in the third. Again, until the third period, Rattlers did not possess the lead in this contest. It was 1-0 Lynx. Rattlers tied it. They made it 2-1 Lynx. Rattlers tying it up again, and they scored two more quick goals after that. And that is where we currently stand here from the BWG here in Bradford. Arthur and Mom got tied up in the stick there of Brunette. Mom will just shovel it further out of the zone, and he'll drop right for Barber. Pitchforked it into the zone was Burnett on goal to Ivanov. He sticked it aside for Lutflin, who can now elevate her pass for his defenseman Baxter. Picked off at the blue line, however. Back in comes Tyler Burnett. A drop pass. Riley Burnett shot there. Kicked away by Arvid Baum, the captain, with a good block there. It'll drop right in front of Fisher. It'll drop for Anderson off the side of the cage. Blake Anderson will wheel it back around again. Blake Anderson. High slot wrist shot. Blocked it away by Morozek. May have been tipped on route. Isaac Carlson picked up there by Nash Vigger. Mom, a shot there by Lutflin, just scorched on wide. Isaac Carlson just put the net on himself. Mom, a one-time shot. Look out the official behind the net. Just trying to put that net back on, but it's going to be Anderson, the puck handle. Stops away from Burnett, will drop it for Lutflin. Back into the corner will come for Anderson. The GMHL's forward of the month for Blake Anderson. 
number 19 and White. Saw himself quite an eventful game, a quite a few penalties for Blake Anderson. But at the end of the day, his team is leading by two goals, and I'm sure that is all he cares about at the moment. Bunzenik's back in. A drop pass away from the Lynx captain, and so Luke Plug took a bump there to make a play. Brown is getting some changes on the fly. Lynx are going to look to do the same here as you see Thor get it away from danger, and then picked off there by McQuallan. Right back to the play of Kuchma. Glips Lesnyov off the bank. Bunzenik's there supporting the puck handler to get that puck free and just rattle it to the opposite side of the boards. Went away from Malander and so drops two Rhodeskov out of the zone. Richard Kuchma hounded there by Liam Thor. Split in between Ivanov and Rhodeskov. And so Ivanov pick pass for Rhodeskov and he'll elevator it across to Slesnyov. Rolling puck unable to be settled there by Bunzenik. Who has two here tonight looking for his hat trick. He gets stood up there by Thor. Turns back the other way. Filion, the captain of the Lynx, trying to work it back from Rhodeskov, couldn't do so. Bunzenin's took a hit for his efforts. Jolet turning on a dime, it'll just backhand that one on goal to Ivanov, who can stick it away for Kuchma. Back behind Maxim Ivanov, it's Baxter. Melander, a touch pass, Bunzenin's not out of the zone, however. Kept alive by McLaughlin, and 74 and Black worked it across for Burnett. A drop pass, looking for Filion, who found him here, Rhodeskov over him. Filion. Puck handler now will go to the blue line. It's Barber's shot there, kicked away by Ivanov. To the corner again, Gleb Slesnyov. Working it across for Melker Melander. And how many great chances has he had tonight? He might set one up here. Slesnyov, a tap pass. Rhodeskov in front, stopped by Morozuk. Morozuk checking if his blade is still intact. That one hit him square into the blade there as he did not go down on his pad on his left side. how easy it is for those blades to pop out. You've seen a lot in the NHL how easy those blades can pop out of your skates. And how many goalie bloopers have we seen where I remember of Jordan Binnington a few nights ago for St. Louis. He didn't have a steal in the cage and he ended up looking rather silly on that early ice about that steal there. So it can happen. It can definitely happen. See what I mean? In between whistles, boys, like is rarely on his feet. He's always either down in the butterfly position. That's where the concern I had was like, oh, I thought he's playing, maybe playing injured here tonight. Not being able to stay on his feet, but it looks like it's just what goals do. I'm sure if you guys have played hockey before and your legs have been on a team of swords, you can probably guess that goalies are definitely they're interesting characters. Name me a normal goalie. I'll just leave it at that. Name me a normal goal. Four minutes to go here in the third period from the BWG. It looks good in Greenland right now for the Bradford Rattlers. They lead by two over the Lynx. Borisov skating back in. Nogomanov lost an edge, but Borisov will get a sharp angle shot stopped by Morosek again. The sharp angle plays coming close to Vladislav Morosek. Most of the time, a goaltender will drop to his knees and hug up the post there. Not Morozak. He stands up tall, and he'll trap those pads right in together, standing up to hug that post, and that's exactly what he just did there. Harvard Allman, Gage, and Asvig. Face off again. They've met a lot here tonight. They go through the corner now, Jolay. Flex it back to the opposite direction. It's played by Fisher. Hard rim off the boards. Icing is going to be called on the Lynx. Rattlers come into tonight's contest sitting first in their division, first in the league. Looks like Blake Anderson's taking himself his third penalty of the contest, and it's his mouth guard again.
Another penalty upcoming to Blake Anderson. Again, it's third of the contest, and it's his second mouth guard violation penalty. Three minutes and 34 seconds to go in the third period. A great change for the Lynx to slowly start to climb back into this. Again, there are only two goals here tonight have come on the power play. Perhaps a hat trick of PPGs upcoming for these West Nipissing Lynx. Liam Thor, his shot stopped by Ivanov Saviniak. Big rebound, it's a crowd loose in front, it goes wide. Filion will play it to the blue line, Laron. Getting it across to the Lynx captain, Filion, who wears 21 in black. Into the corner, it's Liam Thor, back for Filion. The blue line will come for Laron, take a look, crossing pass, great defensive stick made by Lutflin, and he'll just dump that one out. Arvin Mom heads on a change, Stemper comes back in, the Pirate, or the Lynx rather, are back in. Empty net for the Lynx, Moroisuk heads to the bench for the extra attacker. We have six on four, and Fisher very nearly has just saved the game right there. That one had labels for the back of the net. Again, six for the Lynx, four for the Rattlers. They have a minute to go on the power play and an empty net to work with, with 2.30 to go here in the third period. A chance here to clear. They cannot. Lynx have men. Down low in front, Sleznyov tried to just touch that one up, but they're going to say it deflected off someone. And so icing will be waved off. Would have been waved off regardless as the Rattlers are on the PK. Another chance for the Lynx. Two main advantage with the net empty. Lynx are offside. Expect a timeout of the sorts coming from either the Lynx or the Rattlers. Who bites first, Mo Mantha or David Mooney? Nothing to be signaled yet. Moroza out of the bench and comes back into the goal, but will plant himself right at the hash mark. Says the Lynx get possession. You know Moroza is heading right to the bench. Rattler stop possession, however, that might have to wait, but Nasviger has it in the zone. I beg your pardon, it's Fisher, Moroisak onto the bench, it's back to six on four. Four comes on for the extra attacker, that one flips the way by Ivanov. Two minutes to go in the third. It comes back down low for Thor, Saviniak in a boards battle, trying to pin it up, a clear away by Kuchma, down the length of the ice, and just wide, but a race after it. Harvard Malman Major. Ball wins the race as the Rattlers are short-handed. We'll just work it back in front and stuffed in by Isaac Carlson. And if there is any doubt, none remain as Isaac Carlson Puts the nail on the coffin here tonight for the Bradford Rattlers. Empty net goal. They lead 5-2. And a very happy Blake Anderson in the penalty box right now. This bumps up plenty for Blake Anderson. <laughs> Travis Defoe getting a good laugh in the timekeeper's area as well. Anderson back out onto the ice. A minute 30 to go. We'll hear the official announcement. with the goal, Malm with the assist. That looked to be offside, but they're going to let play continue. Rattlers have opened a three-goal lead, and Travis Defoe in time will tell us how much time is remaining in this period. Thank you, Travis, as the Rattlers are back in front. A good stick by Moroza. Hit Baxter up high, and he is feeling all of that. But the Rattlers are back in with the possession. A shot the puck and the stick went out of play. Crazy. Didn't look so good in the first and second period where the Bradford Rattlers were just unable to solve Moroisuk in the stingy defense of the West Nipissing Lynx. Again, didn't possess a lead into this contest until the halfway point of this third period. Rattlers are now 47 seconds away from a big two-point win. Jair check off the draw, it'll split between Rotskov with Liam Four racing after him. McWallen will pick it up for the Lynx, creeping up four Thor, his shot testing Ivanov, kicked out, sent back down the length of the ice, icing will be waved off and behind the play, Thor getting into it with Pavel Rotskov and now Kuchma getting into it with McWallen. 
McAllen's dropped his stick, but not his gloves. Nothing yet. Just some pushing and shoving at the moment before the referee steps in between those two. And it looks like those players are going to the game. McLaughlin's night is over. Richard Kuchma's night is also over. 30 seconds to go here in this third period. Wouldn't be the Rattlers first links. A little bit of this extra stuff happening after the whistle. And hey, we're all for it here. Just more entertainment. Killian back in. Vargas. Left it for Thor. Left it by Blake Barber. He curls into his zone with 15 seconds to go. And he'll just take his sweet time. We'll let the faithful here at the BWG take you away. Maxim Ivanov, a terrific performance in gold, terrific performance all around for Team Green as they come out of the bench to congratulate each other and the netminder Ivanov on a well, well fought earned two point game here tonight. Bradford Rattlers take down the West Nipissing Lynx by a score of five to two from the BWG. And that is the final home game of 20, or before. Christmas. January 24th, the Elmegland Spartans come into town. That's going to be the GameStop night here in Bradford, so it's going to be tons of gaming merch, uh, actual games here to play and buy, and perhaps an appearance by Master Chief again like we had last year. It's definitely a pretty cool event that they throw on for that day. That is January 24th against the Spartans. But for tonight, Bradford Rattlers victorious here, 5-2 winners. So for Nick Stella and the Bradford Rattlers organization, we bid you all a good hockey night for now. And I'm just realizing it said the second period, not the third period the entire time. So I apologize for that. Good night. <laughs>